Hi, uh, my name is Kevin. Uh, it's my pleasure to uh, be here with the team, uh, the grad team here. Uh, Jamin, Gabriel, Christian and uh, Jason. Uh, we have recently won the AI for Accessibility Hackathon last October. Uh, the hackathon was run with eight countries with 65 teams uh, and, uh, and we are working with partners, customers, uh, universities and developers to come together to see how we can help use technology to solve some of the accessibility issues in the community. Now, I first would like to uh, turn over to Jiamin, uh, maybe to share with us a little bit more about what the challenge were you trying to resolve oh, in, the, in the hackathon? That's a really great question. So when we first joined the hackathon, we were really pulled in by the AI for Accessibility um, the title because personally I was really invested since I actually spent a lot of time um, to volunteer in an organization called Special Olympics. So that's actually a team that works with people with autism. So specifically because I was really driven by this, I actually got the entire team to go into this target on me to solve a communication issue for people with autism. So the solution we're trying to resolve is that they find it very difficult to communicate with um, people like us because we tend to use very long sentences, Correct. very complex sentences. Mm -hmm. And I really am interested in sharing with you the solution we came up with. Excellent. What a great uh, you know solution to work on. And I think um, particularly in this area, I, I think technology can certainly help to solve some of these issues here. So Gabriel, maybe you can elaborate a little bit more. Uh, how what kind of solution do you put together to actually look at addressing this challenge? Right. So uh, in our solution, we outline a three-step process. The first is to record the speech given by uh, any person who is conversing with our person with autism. So we will record this speech and transcribe it into text first before applying a keyword extraction process to this to this particular piece of text in order to kind of understand the main ideas, extract the main ideas from what the person is trying to say. And in order to allow the person with autism to understand the meaning behind the text better, we also perform a image search on these particular keywords so as to provide some form of visual aid for the person with autism. Right, right, right. Interesting, interesting. Now Christian, I mean why you chose to participate in this AI for Accessibility Hackathon and, and what were your experience? So I guess like everyone on the team, maybe we want to like further our, further our understanding of AI, like as we're all working in an analytics role, like learning about sort of the cutting edge, you know, what's, what's, what's possible is really interesting and also learning about how we can use AI to actually enhance people's lives. So dealing with some, like interacting with some of the nonprofit organizations was uh, really, uh, really beneficial. Like they really helped us understand the problem better. And um, it was also really nice to see how well the Azure Cognitive Services work straight out of the box. Um, everyone says, for example, everyone says they can do speech to text, but actually seeing it firsthand and seeing how it works first time, every time, like, you know, absolutely flawlessly was really, really nice to see. Great, great, great. And Jason, maybe you can help us uh, uh, share with us what's next for, for this grad team in, in, in taking this uh, application forward. What, what would this team try to do next to further enhance your, your prototype that you have built? Yeah, true. So I think our whole team is uh, definitely very excited to apply for the grant to take this our solution further. Mm -hmm. We definitely would love to work closely with the non-profit organi organizations yes. to learn a lot more. To, learn, to work alongside these uh, people with disabilities, to get to know them more and be able to create um, a product that actually drives social impact here in Singapore. Great, great. Now, I, I wish all of you good luck uh, to your application and, and I hope you keep your passion going <laughs> in, in, in really helping uh, uh, to, to think about how we can use technology to impact lives. All right, thank, thank you so you. much. Thank, thank you so much, Kevin. Okay.